The general narrative of Jhabua district in Madhya Pradesh province of India is marked with economic and social challenges. But in some small villages of the district, a big change is happening. Silently but steadily. The story begins with realizing the potential of women to make change collectively. In this small village of Ruparal, this self-help group meets every month. It enables women to better manage their finances through small savings and extends small loans to women in need. The group has made significant contributions by supporting many women to become entrepreneurs, particularly in backyard poultry farming. The traditional occupation has been marred by numerous challenges including the prevalence of the deadly Newcastle disease, known as Raniket disease in India, and a lack of investment by pharmaceutical companies in village poultry production, often seen as high risk and not profitable. However, when some women learned of the Newcastle disease vaccination from a local NGO called Sampark, through the support of non-profit organization Global Alliance for Livestock Veterinary Medicines, Galmud, change started to brew among these women. And soon the prospects of commercial benefits became clear to them. Dhanibai is one of the local female change agents. She became the vaccination ambassador in her village and shifted her community's mindset on poultry vaccination and deworming. She is now a vaccinator and poultry keeper whose business has further diversified. The money she earns through these activities, she has invested into a sewing business. Much of her earnings go into ensuring her children receive an education. Before Dhanibai's entrepreneurial success, her husband oversaw all household finances and decisions. Now, family decisions are made jointly by her and her husband. पहले तो हम बच्चों की पढ़ाई भी नहीं कर पाते थे बाहर चले जाते थे तो हमारे बच्चों की पढ़ाई भी बेकार में जाती तो हम ये सब कर नहीं पाते थे पति के पास हाथ में तो पैसे रहते नहीं वो तो दारू पी जाते कहीं भी कर जाते इसलिए हम पैसे नहीं लेते हमारे पास जितनी जरूरत पड़े उतना ही पैसा देते देयर आर मेनी सिमिलर स्टोरीज नाउ इन दिस विलेज Mamta has also become a local entrepreneur thanks to income earned from poultry keeping and selling vaccinated poultry. She has set up a small grocery shop with the money earned from poultry sales. दे दुकान के पैसे मतलब हमारा घर ही चलाते हम इससे और खर्च होता कपड़े लेते किताबें लेते बच्चों के लिए फीस भरते यही करते Traditionally, backyard poultry farming has been done mostly by women in these parts. Therefore, increased poultry farming as a result of ND vaccination has directly benefited women. Now, every woman in this trade has between 20 and 50 chickens, up from just two to three years ago. More than half of livestock earnings come from poultry. This increased poultry income has been one of the reasons women are rising to decision-making positions in their households. Because of this, they can now spend more on their children's education and health. Vaccination का काम शुरू हुआ जब महिलाओं का हमने चयन किया और उनके जब परिणाम आने लगे और जहाँ उनकी mortality कम हुई और मुर्गी बढ़ी तो obviously इस चीज़ की महिलाएं इसको करती थी और इसका पूरा पैसा महिला के हाथ में गया और महिला के हाथ में पैसे गया तो सबसे खास बात जो हुई है कि खास शिक्षा और स्वास्थ्य दो ऐसे विषय हैं जिस पर एक्सपेंडिचर कम करता है परिवार क्योंकि यहाँ क्योंकि आदिवासी इलाका है शराब बहुत चलती है तो पुरुष के हाथ में भी पैसा आता है तो शिक्षा और स्वास्थ्य ऐसी जगह है जहाँ पर पैसा न्यूनतम खर्च होता है लगभग नहीं करता आदमी ऑब्वियसली उसके हाथ में जब पैसा आया तो परिवार के अंदर भी उसकी जो निर्णय लेने की प्रक्रियाओं में उसकी भूमिका बढ़ी Increased participation in decision making has helped them become local representatives to government departments as well. Earlier this was done mostly by the men of the family. Now women regularly visit government veterinary facilities and other public offices as needed. Backyard poultry farming spurred on by regular vaccinations against Newcastle disease 
and deworming of poultry has helped cultivate these stories of entrepreneurial pursuits and confidence building among women in rural areas of India. In this village, women are treading the path of a new life.